Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about disconnects, specifically air conditioning and heat pump disconnects. We get a lot of questions on how we wire these disconnects, so we're going to show you how we do it with the two different kinds, so stick around. So we're just going to take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our... Okay, so with this specific type of disconnect, this disconnect actually has a breaker in it. This breaker has no amperage rating on it, it's just simply for an on and off. The amperage of the breaker is on the inside of the electrical panel in the house. So this is just simply used for a service disconnect. We use these a lot because they're outdoor rated uh, and they have the on off right on, on the disconnect itself. So we're going to start, on our left is our wire from the house and on our right is our wire going to the heat pump. So we're going to start by doing our grounds up on the ground terminal. Now you'll notice that on this disconnect it doesn't have any neutral bar, it just has the grounds and then the line is actually going to go up here so this is where it's going to come from the house and the load is actually going to go on the breaker. So this one is pretty much foolproof but we'll go ahead and do this, get this tied in and then we'll show you the other type. So we're going to do our grounds up nice and tight. They always use an impact just to make sure they get in there, especially when we're doing bare grounds. And just a little disclaimer guys, remember never do your own electrical work, always consult your own local licensed electrician. I've got a cameraman today, so after I upload this video, he's going to be able to watch it. So basically, uh, the red and the black on this is 240 volt. We're going to go up underneath on the line side, uh, and then we're going to do the load, so load side. The red and the black really don't matter. This is a single phase uh, setup. As long as we get, we try to get the blacks on one side and the reds on the other. So we're going to head, go ahead and use our strippers, strip the wire back, and use our flathead. Get it into the top left, which is the line coming from the breaker in the house. So this sends power to the disconnect. And I give it a good tighten down, shove it back out of the way, and then we're going to do the other line, which is going to give us our two, 220, 230, 240, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you are. I'm going to do this side. Now, for the purposes of this video, I actually have the top cover off, which hinges down, and I'll show you how we put that back on in a minute here. So that's our line side done. Now our load side is actually going to go underneath on the breaker. And we're going to match the red side up over here, and we're going to match the black side up over there. Pretty easy. As long as you're not dropping screwdrivers. Of course, we're always careful when we strip our wires. We're going to go up underneath these lugs, make sure they're secured. Shoved up in there. Hold up on it while we tighten. And what we'll do after we turn the power on, we'll do what we usually do is do a, re a recording of the exact voltage for the heat pump installer and then he uh, he writes that down for his readings so you notice we put the black on the one side and the red on the other get that up underneath there Tighten that down. And we'll open this back up later, but we're going to put it together for now. So on the wire cover, there's two little grooves that go in on the top and pinch down. So we just stick it down on the bottom and then shove it in on the top, clamps in place. And then the actual metal cover for the front. 
these two tabs here and here go on each side shove those up into place and then close it up and this is what's actually called a lockable disconnect so it can stick a lock on it so nobody can tamper with it after the breaker is turned off or on so out of the two types there's that type and there's also another type which is quite common I'll show you what we mean the smaller ones and they have what's called just a pull out now these are a little cheaper version that pulls out it's got tabs on there tabs in there now this is where it often gets messed up so you see you've got four tabs inside here on the outside it's clearly marked line and on the inside it's clearly marked load so our red and the black would go on the outside from the panel and our red and the black to the heat pump or whatever we're hooking up will go on the inside we can't go on one side with the red and black because what happens is when you stick that in it would be a dead short so basically it just transfers power from the outside of this to the inside of this that goes in after the covers put back on and it needs to get shoved in hard in the on position so if that doesn't get shoved in there properly it's not going to work and it has to go right in place. If that doesn't go right in place, then you're not gonna get a connection through, which is quite common. And those are more prone to causing arcing. We've seen that happen quite a bit in the past. So even me trying to talk about it here, I've got it on wrong. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Shove that in there. Usually you have to give it a good bump, and then the cover closes. So those are the two type of disconnects that are widely used for air conditioning, um, anything 240 volt, sometimes they're even used for shed wiring, usually the neutral gets uh, mirrored or connected right through, uh, either way they're a really good outdoor rated heat pump. So that's it for today, I just wanted to basically concentrate on not getting leaves in my face and getting the actual heat pump disconnect itself. If you like this video or you want to see other videos on how we actually wire a heat pump, you can click the video up here in the corner in front of the leaves with the leaves stuff blowing in my face. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.